Hey guys, welcome to today's video. And today we're gonna to be doing some science. So today I wanna to see if buffing plexiglass will fix all these scratches. As you can tell, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty scratched up, it's pretty bad. When you come inside, from my point of view, you cannot see anything out of the driver's side. The passenger side, you can see out just fine. It is a little wet. It took me an hour just to get all the ice off of this, get it nice and dry, so we can buff this half and see what happens. So there's no reason not to just get right into it and waste time. So uh, let's get it. Let's get at it. Um, but before that, make sure to subscribe and uh, excuse my voice. I've been I've been pretty sick the last couple weeks. So. Uh, Heck yeah. So all I'm gonna be using is this Turtle Wax Clean Cut Rubbing Compound. My good old Warrior Electric uh, Harbor Freight Buffer and a cheap Harbor Freight buffing pad. It's got a little dirt in it, but uh, you know, we can only make it worse, right? So uh, let's see what happens. First thing I want to do, I'm going to take a piece of tape and just kind of divide a good piece here, just so we have something to compare it to. I'll start over here, just because, you know, I need more visibility out of right here. I'm going to go ahead, get my compound, just put a couple drops leave down in the comments below if you think this is going to work I don't think it's going to work that's why we're doing science alright so we're going to take our dabs yeah. let's get some all over it turn this uh, turn this bad boy on high <laughs> All right, we're one pass in. I can tell you what, it didn't do much, but it did clear it up a little bit. So that's a, that's a good sign. The scratches are still there, but it definitely cleared it up. Let's get a look from the inside. Oh yeah, I mean, I'd say it's a little, a little better. All right, let's do another pass here. Now, when you're buffing anything, paint, doesn't matter what it is, hold your pad flat to the surface. I know in the beginning of the last shot, I was kind of like this. My mistake, don't do that. And Second pass, Dad. Probably should be using a microfiber cloth, but I don't care. Oh yeah, I can see a big difference from that to that. That's 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 insane. That's good. Let's check from the inside. Oh yeah. I like it. So let's go ahead, rip our tape off. Throw it inside, because that's the garbage can. Let's do a pass on the whole thing. You'll see a little water coming down. It's okay, it's kind of a lubricant. It's not gonna hurt anything unless it's got dirt in it. All right, we're going to go ahead and wipe her down. All 
Man, you used to not really even be able to see inside. So this is actually working really good. Would you look at that? You can, uh, you can see some daylight out there. <clears throat> so the reason why buffing this plexiglass is working is because one, the cutting compound and the heat from the pad is melting the plastic or whatever this material is and basically polishing it in a sense. You know, when you clear coat, sorry, when you buff clear coat on a car, what it's doing is it's melting that clear coat, getting rid of the scratches and kind of rebonding everything. It's almost the same principle with the plexiglass. I didn't think it would work, but it's working. I'm gonna do one more pass on it and call it good. Uh, these big, these deep scratches from the windshield wiper, they're uh, never gonna go away. I mean, I could sand it and sand it, smooth them out, but I don't care. Hopefully I'll have a real windshield here soon. I think one way I can avoid these scratches is get like a silicone um, windshield wiper. I think that'd be easier on this windshield versus I don't know, whatever this material is. Plus this one's probably older than me. All right, one more pass. I wouldn't recommend using this uh, pad on paint. I use really nice 3M ones for that. But for plexiglass, this uh, hard frame one does just fine, I guess. <laughs> So the answer is yes, buffing plexiglass does clear it up, make it less cloudy, fixes the small scratches. Man, it's a night and day difference, really. Wow. Yeah, you can, and that's my field of view, and I used to not be able to see anything, so. That side is just a little foggy and icy still, but it's like a brand new piece of plexiglass. I reckon that'll work. So there you have it. We buffed it, it worked. I'm pretty happy with it. So if you have plexiglass windshield or anything that's plexiglass, and you wanna clear it up, you can uh, buff it out with the cheapest stuff possible and it'll, uh, it'll turn out pretty good. Now, some tips for people that are new to buffing is one, start your machine out slow. Uh, especially if you're working on paint and you're new to it, make sure you got that machine dialed way down because you will overcook that clear coat or whatever if you are applying too much pressure with too much speed or you just don't know what you're doing. But if you start out slow, not a lot of pressure, you'll get it down and you'll feel more comfortable as you go. Well, hopefully once this snow is gone, we'll get out and go do some wheeling. Um, but in the meantime, if you're interested in seeing this old Geo Tracker get a body swap, I have a lead on a body. Not 100% sure yet on it. But if you want to see the transformation of Clyde 2.0, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if I helped you out, leave a like and uh, comment some things you'd like to see on the channel. Um, I have a Grand Wagoneer that I could do some stuff on uh, for the channel. Uh, my Cummins, probably not going to do anything to that though. Um, I just need more content ideas. I've got plenty of time to do a lot of filming right now. So, you know, this, this weather's holding, holding work back. But we can do other things and have a little bit of fun. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you come back for more, and uh, don't forget to go back and check out our other, other content on the channel, and uh, have a good one.